Hey everybody, hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Abby and I do makeup and skincare and hair care focused content and I tend to focus on affordable makeup, skincare and hair care products. So if that sounds like your thing, I hope you would consider subscribing. And yeah, so in today's video, I will be featuring some very, very affordable lip glosses. I think they might actually be the most affordable lip glosses I have bought to date, or at least, yeah, I think to date if not from the brand anyway. Overall, they're the most affordable lip glosses I have tried on my channel. So we are talking about the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Glosses and this is what they look like. I have five colors. So I just wanted to try some lip glosses. I was at my local Wilco and if you're in the UK, you know Wilco is a kind of a mishmash of homeware, beauty, um stationary uh home decor in terms of like wallpaper slash cleaning products slash paint slash cable slash stationery it does a bit of everything it sells plants as well it sells christmas this isn't an advert for wilco by the way but it sells a bunch of different things and it's like a you know quite a big company that spreads itself across a couple of different um uh, sectors so in today's video, I will be featuring these lip glosses if I can get a shot of them. Ah, always very difficult. In fact, what I'm going to do is just put one on one side. So these are the colors I will be trying. I have five of them. So I have already smelt one of them and it smells really nice. Yeah, it smells really sweet. Like just, um, it smells like any type of candy that you would have eaten. A uh, slightly flavorless type of sweet smelling candy, that type of thing. That's what it smells like. So I'm just gonna try these lip glosses in any, in no particular order. So the first one I will try is the shade 20 Strawberry Red. And that is this shade over here. It's more of a, definitely a strawberry red. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is bang on. So in terms of the applicator, this is what the applicator looks like. It's very short and fluffy. So in terms of products, you get five mLs. So I'm just gonna apply this because my lips are dry at the moment. So I do notice that they do have, so these lip glosses have tiny specks of glitter in them. So if you don't like that, they do have that, by the way. Um, I like the application. There's a slight bit of stickiness to them, but it's not a lot at all to be off-putting in any way. Um, I did apply a little, you know, ge a generous amount just so you can see. But let's see if I can zoom in. So you can see this definitely leaves a pink hinge to the mouth so that is this one that's it let me just read off what it says on the on the back so it says extreme shine lip gloss for a wet look finish and cushion fill on the lips non-sticky so yeah i will say it's slightly sticky but it's not off putting to the point where you can't wear it there's just a slight bit of a body to it should i say so next i will apply next i'm going to try the um this color here which is more of a pinky corally color and it's number 26 on my plump and strawberry red is number 20 by the way i'm trying to make sure that they don't have different scents in them oh actually i think they do is it me? Am I crazy? This smells slightly different. I think what they're trying to do is match the scent to the name, I think. Oh my, okay. Yeah, this has a, a berry-ish hinge to the scent. But this smells a bit more vanilla -y. Yeah, this definitely has more vanilla. Or more of a sweetness to it to it okay. 
So this is what this one looks like. So that's this shade of my plum. In real life, I actually like this color on me more. I want to say, I want to say I like this color on me more than the previous one, but that was also a good color. Yeah, I definitely like this. It has almost like a minty cool feeling to it. Next, I'm going to apply what I think my what I thought would be my favorite shade, which is No Brainer number twenty three. It's this one because I tend to go for kind of mauvey or um, colors that have like a brown tinge to them. Like lip glosses are either basically brown or nudie browns, just to complement my natural lip color. So yeah, this is more of an everyday, your lips but better type of colour. Like that. I think so far it's a toss up between the corally pink and the nudie, the nudie brown. I guess, but yeah, I never thought, I didn't actually know if I was going to like this to be honest, but I guess I do. So yeah, this is more of an everyday, this is more of an everyday with a bit of an oomph. Next, I'm going to try out the shade Volume Please, number 25. And I feel like with a shade like this, I'm definitely going to need a brown lip liner. Um, yeah, let's just see how this appears. I feel like if you are, you know, definitely lighter than me, or if you have really, really nude lips, this would be the shade, your everyday, your everyday nude, basically. Now this smells the same as yeah this doesn't smell as sweet as this shade here which also has a very vanilla oh, yeah I think they've tweaked the scent between these lip glosses for sure This doesn't smell as vanilla -y or as sweet as these two, actually. I think for this, I definitely need a brown lip liner and it still be wearable. And if I apply a really light amount, then I could use it on its own. And this is what it looks like. Lastly, I have their clear gloss and this one is called Plump Me Up number 18. That's what it looks like. This has a very vanilla scent to it again, by the way. So I think between these two lighter shades, I'd definitely say this I could probably get away with without a lip liner, but again, it looks a lot more cool. It looks a little bit cooler on the camera. In real life, it just gives my lips a lot of shine, which is really, really, really nice, actually. I really like this. Um, for Christmas, definitely this will be one. If you want to be like shining everywhere and you've got like a little bit of glitter on your um, eyelids, this would be one to use for sure. I really like this a lot. And it just makes my natural lip color sing as well. I think the only thing with this is because it has a bit of color to it. It definitely makes my lips look like um, nude, like a bit too nude, too light nude. Whereas this just adds shine to my natural lip color. So this I could get away with. And I really, really like it. So yeah, that is what this looks like. And I'm just going to complete the swatches on the back of my hand. Okay, so these are the swatches on the back of my hand. First, we have 20 Strawberry Red on this side. Next, we have Oh My Plump, number, number two. 
Next we have No Brainer, number three. Number 23, rather. Wait, number 23, No Brainer, number three, here. And number four, we have Volume Please, which is number 25 on here. And that is what this is. And lastly, we have oh, Plump Me Up, number 18. And that's what this is. You can barely see it. So there you have it. Those are my swatches on my hand and on my lips. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And yeah, so until next time, stay blessed. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.